Hello, Isaiah here with Cheeky Scientist, and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. Today's question comes from Jimmy Franzania. What's the cost of staying in academia? Maybe if I knew there was a cost, I'd be more motivated to get out. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, I really appreciate your question. It brings up what I think is the main reason that a lot of PhDs end up having careers that are a little bit better than failure. Uh, if you stay in academia and do multiple postdocs, your career while you're in those postdocs is a failure. Okay, it's a failure financially, but it's also a failure in terms of your impact on humanity. You think you're having an impact in, uh, in academia, you're not, right? There's a reason that academic institutions have cut tenured positions. There's a reason they're stopping the pipeline of PhDs coming in, right? The system's broken, it's so poor, there's no funding that you can't even have a positive impact. Your publication will not be translated into something that helps anybody, not anymore, right? All of translational work development, by all I mean 80, 90% plus, is done in industry. I mean, look at the reproducibility crisis in academia. Academia was always meant to be a, a place to train PhDs, not a place for PhDs to stay and do anything meaningful. It's not. The, the reagents, the instruments, the, the funding, it's too poor. Nothing can even be reproduced from one department or one lab to another department or another lab. Depending on the reference you look at, 50% up to 90% of experiments, things that are published, are not reproducible. Meanwhile, in industry, right, it's all automated by advanced robotics systems that are millions of dollars, high-level equipment, standard operating procedures, you know, actually following a project management methodology you don't follow any methodologies from, from one department to another department. Even in your own lab, probably, there's not even a, a standard methodology from one person to another. You have a protocol, but there's no project management methodology like Agile or Six Sigma. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So what's the cost of this? Well, every day you stay in academia after getting your PhD, right? you might as well just take $150 US or whatever the conversion is and burn it, throw it away. The average salary for PhDs in industry is $91,112. That's according to Science, the Journal of Science. That works out to $250 per day. Now, if you're on a graduate student stipend, this is, you know, you're getting way lower than this, maybe like $16,000 a year, $20,000, something low. But let's say you're a postdoc. Let's look at the worldwide averages for postdocs. Let's even say it's a higher average. Let's say it's $35,000 a year. Okay, so that's about $100 a day you still have $150 left over that you're wasting every single day. So after 100 days, which is about three months, that's $15,000 you should just throw away. You were never meant to stay in academia after getting your PhD. Never let your PI advisor talk you into working for free after getting your PhD. Get your PhD and get out of academia immediately. Your postdoc damages your career. Anything you do in academia after your PhD damages your career in industry. It makes you a less viable job candidate. If you, if you are doing a postdoc, get out now. Don't wait. Leverage what you have now. Don't continue to wait. Don't wait until things get so bad or until you get a tap on the shoulder saying, hey, your position's cut or we can't pay you or we need you to work for free. Nobody tells you this is coming. Every PhD is just kind of like, oh, I'm going to work on my experiment today. They'll tell you right when it happens, hey, we got cut today or I can't afford you from today onward. They don't say, hey, in three months, we're going to have to let you go. They tell you that day. We're seeing it happen all around the world. You need a plan. Know the opportunity cost of staying in academia. Transition out. If you want to learn more about how to do that, learn about the Cheeky Scientist Association. I will help you get hired personally. Our entire team will. Our program will. Just go to phdsgethired.com, phdsgethired.com. Earl, Cedric, Nitin, Shakar, everybody watching live, great to see you. Remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.